Hey guys, what's up? USA Second Amendment here with a video for you guys. Um, the video has been pretty sparse lately uh, just because uh, I have a baby girl that's uh, almost five months old now. But uh, anyway, um, I want to just touch base with you guys about Gander Mountain. Uh, I saw this, um, and I know this is from Black Friday, uh, which was, I guess what? A week ago, but uh, but you know, I saw this uh, and just wanted to make a video on it. Um, as I was seeing it, literally like right now, uh, my wife pointed it out to me, uh, or pointed out to look at this. So, anyway, with with Gander Mountain, you guys got to really in, in relation to firearms is what I'm going to talk about. You got to really know what you're doing, okay? And for instance, I'm going to jump right into it and show you what I'm talking about. So you go back here, okay? And on the last page back here. We're going to focus in right there. All right, there is right here, you guys can see that, there's a Glock 27 Gen 4 in 40 Smith & Wesson. Was $699.99. That's $700 for a Glock. And, ooh, you saved $50. So now it's only $649 or $650. Um, that's a ripoff. That's ridiculous. That's stupid. Now, look right up here diagonally from this gun. Glock 19 Gen 4 was $580. Save $30, $550. Okay, that's decent. That's a comparable price. Within Gander Mountain, where I live, within two miles, there are two other gun stores, both of which sell Glock Gen 4s for about $550 to $580. On any given day, that's their normal price, five fifty to five eighty, somewhere in that ballpark. I actually went in, a, in Gander Mountain one time and asked the guy, "So, uh, why do you guys have some Glocks at seven hundred dollars?" He's like, "Oh, well, well, people people like Glocks," and I'm like, "Well, I understand that, but um, do people buy them at that price?" Oh, yeah, 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 we sell a lot of Glocks. And I'm like, okay, I didn't ask if you sell a lot of Glocks. I asked if people buy Glocks at $700. And the answer is they do um, because they don't do their research and they're ignorant. Um, and I don't mean ignorant in an insulting type of way. I mean, they're ignorant of the facts. They don't do their research. Um, now, I'm not trying to crap on Gander 100%. I do crap on them a little bit because that's, that is just simply ridiculous. That's price gouging. I don't care where that is, who you are, what store, if you're a mom and pop, if you're a big box store, that's price gouging. That's ridiculous. Um, however, they do have some good deals, some good prices. For instance, let me flip back up here, and you guys see they have an M&P shield in 9mm or 40. Okay, so 375, which is about average to pay for a shield. It's not a super awesome sale price, but about average. It's below 400, so that's good. Um, but then you get a $50 Gander Mountain gift card with it. That's good. I think that's a good deal. If you're in the market for that, that was a good deal to pick up. Not the $700 Glock. Um, and then flip back over here. Another good deal I think that they had. Let me get this out of there for a second. Um, okay, right here. There it is. So you see the FNH, the FNS 9mm 40 was $599, so it was $600. They took $120 off. Now $480. Again, I think that's a good deal. Um, I have a, actually, I have a friend who bought this for his son for Christmas last year, and he paid $600 from Gander for it. And, you know, I was like, oh, okay, you know, and I didn't really get into it with him, but I think he overpaid on that $600 for that FNS. But this, this is a decent price. It's a good price. So, another uh, thing from Gander I got a couple years back um, was a Mosin Nagant. I got a 1933 hex receiver for 130 bucks from Gander Mountain because it was on sale regularly. You know, it's 180 or $200 or whatever the case may be. So, I'm telling you guys this simply for the fact that that if you're going to go to Gander Mountain, if you're going to buy a gun from Gander Mountain, or if you're just looking at guns at Gander Mountain, you need to do your research. You really need to know what's going on. Um, a friend of mine, another channel uh, on here, on the, uh, or I say a friend of mine, I only know him via YouTube, 
but uh, the firearm guy, I believe, is his channel. Uh, he did a video about Gander uh, about a week or so ago. Um, that really didn't influence my video for this. This paper influenced my video for this, but he did a, the same type video with Gander and basically saying, you know, you need to know what you're looking at. You need to know what comparable prices are. You need to do your research before you go in there and get taken. Um, oh, here you go. Here's another example. So remember that Glock I mentioned about, right? So right over here. So there you go. There's a Glock 17 Gen 4. Was 580, now 550. That's comparable. That's fine. That's decent, okay? That's decent. Not this. Okay, that's ridiculous. That's just stupid. I have a Glock 26 Gen 4. Same gun, just in 9mm. And trust me, no, the price is not different because it's a 40 Smith & Wesson. If anybody tells you that, they're lying. They're full of crap. But, I have a Glock 26 Gen 4. I bought when they came out. Literally when they came out. In fact, they were so new that the gun store I went to first didn't have any. And they couldn't get any, they said, for the foreseeable future. I went to another gun store. They actually had one in the case. I bought that. And when it was brand new, I paid $560. $560. Brand new. When I say brand new, I mean just released. Okay? Just released. So, anyway, guys. Um... I guess that's about it for this one. I digress. I just wanted, you know, to put a video out there about Gander Mountain and let you know, hey, you know, know what you're doing before you're going in there. A lot of the guys behind the gun counter there do not know what they're talking about. Um, some of them do. Some, don't get me wrong. Some of them are great. Some of them are very knowledgeable. Um, some of them have great customer service. I've, I've always pretty much had really good customer service at Gander Mountain. And that's a plus. That's a plus to, to say about them. Um, but know what you're doing. And do your research before you go in and, you know, look to uh, to buy a firearm, whether it's new or one of their used ones. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below. As always, thank you guys for watching and uh, hope you have a good day.